The Hillman Group is proud to present the access key duplication system for automotive transponder security keys. The first step to cutting a key is key identification. Because this is a rubber head automotive key, the first step is to determine if the original is a transponder key. If the key has an all metal head, then proceed to the automotive section of the key panel identifier. Using the transponder detector located on board the access key machine, determine if the customer's rubber head key is a transponder key by placing the key in the opening as indicated and pressing the test button. The transponder detector has detected that this customer's key is a transponder key, as indicated by the red lights. Ask the customer what the make, model, and year of their vehicle is. Consult the EasyClone application guide. The guide will tell you if you carry the replacement key and what key blank to use to duplicate the customer's key. If you do not see the customer's vehicle, you cannot duplicate the key. Once you have identified the transponder key blank, inform the customer of the price of the key. Insert the customer's original key into the EasyClone and press the Read button. The screen on the EasyClone will prompt you when the read process is complete. Remove the customer's original key and allow the machine to process. This may take a few seconds. Take care to select the appropriate transponder key referenced in the application guide and remove the new key from the package. Insert it into the Easy Clone and press the Write button. When the Easy Clone states the operation is completed, remove the transponder key blank. Select yes or no for additional keys. If you wish to duplicate multiple keys, insert the other keys when prompted. The packaging displays the correct cassette within the red bubble callout. Locate the appropriate cassette. Open the plexiglass cassette cover. Align and insert the cassette into the machine, pushing it down until fully inserted. Close the plexiglass cassette cover and lift the gray plastic sound cover. Push back the first lever using your thumb and using your fingers, grasp the back of the cassette. While pushing it back, insert your transponder key blank into the bottom slot marked first access key blank. Take care to ensure it is inserted all the way. Push back the second lever and insert your customer's key into the top slot marked second customer's original key. Take care to ensure that the customer's key is inserted all the way. Grip the set button, push it once, and close the gray plastic hood. Locate the green start button to the left of the hood and press the button once. The machine is now cutting the key. Once the machine is silent, lift the gray hood, hold the new key, push back the first lever and pull out the new key. Insert the new key into the onboard cleaning brush as shown. Put the newly duplicated transponder key back into its packaging. Remove the customer's original key from the cassette. Hand the customer both their original and duplicated key and send them off to pay for their key. Close the gray sound cover and lift the plexiglass cassette cover. Remove the cassette, returning it to its housing. Close the plexiglass cassette cover. Above the cassette housing, you will find the cassette training program. The training guide provides quick reference sheets for key duplication, as well as troubleshooting and common causes of miscut key sections. The training program takes approximately 20 minutes to complete using test keys and locks on the access machine itself and is recommended for all new users.